Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about using the Photos with Locations tool in education. Now sometimes the simplest things in GIS or geospatial technology are incredibly wonderful and fascinating and useful, such as the case here. I have a zipped file that I can add to ArcGIS Online. I'm going to choose it right now. It's a zipped file of geotagged photos. So all I have to do is indicate that it's photos with locations. I can add some metadata as you can see here so that I can find it later and so that if I share it you can find it later. So metadata is important but basically this is a tagged geotagged set of photographs because I had the location based services on on my phone. Now if you don't have geotagged photos there's geoimager.com and a, a variety of other ways that you can get those geotagged locations on your photographs. Now I'm adding some metadata once that uploads into ArcGIS Online. Again, the metadata is something that you should pay attention to. You don't have to write your master's thesis in there, but some sort of indication about what the content is again so you and others will be able to find it. And then I'm going to open it in the map viewer. Once I do, I'm going to have that as a feature layer. So it's actually quite powerful. It's not just part of the map. It's actually a feature layer that you can share with others and they can use it as well. And you can also use it in a variety of other things as I'll talk about in a moment. So I'm just going to change the symbology on that feature layer by changing the style. I'm going to bump this up a little bit. And now I'm going to demonstrate what I've got at this point. I've got my photographs that are all in their correct locations, plus or minus two to two to three meters. In this case, heavy, rugged terrain with a lot of trees. So that's about my horizontal accuracy, which is just fine for my purposes here. I can click on each one of these points on the map and get my full-sized image if I want with the link for the image right there. So that is just absolutely wonderful. You could call this good at this point, but let's dig a little deeper now in a moment to talk about what more could you do with this. This is this procedure took me about what two to three minutes to actually create this whole thing. Now if you wanted to dig deeper, what if you wanted to have those points, not just hyperlinks with the ability to pull them up in a separate tab, uh, and let's go ahead and change the base map. We can do all that kind of thing inside ArcGIS Online. You can change the imagery. You can also add a layer and search for the USA Topo layer, for example, if you wanted to, as would be very appropriate here, to get the topographic map as a layer inside your map here. So I can go ahead and click on those points just like I did before but now I've got the USGS topographic map and I can of course save it and share it with others or just my own organization or just a group of students or faculty inside my organization all that good stuff that is pretty standard inside ArcGIS Online powerful to be able to do this but what if you wanted to do this what if you wanted to have those images as a thumbnail inside the pop-up as I demonstrate here And if I did it, you can do it. And I used the procedures that my colleague Jennifer Bell wrote about. It's basically allowing you to embed the images as pop-ups inside the pop-up. So you're not clicking on, you can also click on the hyperlink and open it in a new tab and you'll get the full sized image but you can see the advantage there's there's some advantages to actually having it inside the pop-up how do I do that well again using the procedures that my colleague wrote I've got a multi-line expression inside the pop-up where it basically looks at what the attachment ID is and then configures the pop-up to display the attachment URL as an image. Now you might say, what, what's an attachment, Joseph? Well, when images get stored in ArcGIS Online, they're called attachments, that's all. So that's what this set of expressions do does, is that it um, basically allows you to embed uh, images inside your pop-ups and here's my colleagues blog where I learned how to do that and again you can learn how to do that too. That is uh, another extension for ArcGIS Online. It's, it's quite easy to do and, and the nice thing about it is that uh, it helps students to understand what code is and how to build expressions and so it gets them a little bit deeper into the world of geospatial technology. Well, it, since this is Colorado and we're talking about high relief you can also put this into a 3D scene or in a 
in ArcGIS Pro for further analysis. I mean, this is a feature layer. Here's my 3D scene. This is a feature layer, so it's powerful. It's not just a bunch of points floating around in cyberspace or in a, a web map, right? It's, it's an actual feature layer. Now here's my 3D scene. I'm navigating around. I've got the imagery base map now uh, showing. And again, what if you did this for water quality, uh, for street conditions, uh, building conditions, uh, litter, invasive species, weather and climate, lots of things you can use this particular set of tools inside a instructional environment. You could also use these in a research environment as well. So this is just a demonstration of, again, the layer inside the 3D scene. Excellent to be able to do this, folks. Very powerful tools for visualization and analysis right here at your fingertips. You can see the trail that I hiked up as I was collecting this data. But again, in Invasive species, traffic, pedestrian counts, recycling bins on your campus. The sky's the limit here. Now, let's dig just a little bit deeper. In the new beta, it's in beta right now, but the new map viewer that will unroll here in 2020, pop-ups have been improved in many ways. So, for example, let me demonstrate. I went into the map viewer beta and I use the same feature layer that I uploaded earlier that I was showing you. And look, you've got this capability of automatically having these pop-ups in this sort of gallery mode, it's called. So you just click on attachments and you change it from list to gallery. And then, bada bing, bada boom, you've got your pop-ups, your images in the pop-ups without any additional configuration whatsoever so you can see that the pop-ups and there's lots more that my colleague my other colleague has written in this particular blog post that I learned how to do this and you can learn how to do it too but uh, the pop-ups have, have been massively improved in the uh, upcoming map viewer in ArcGIS Online so again wonderful to be able to easily do this and these tools are rapidly evolving so again you know keep your knees bent know that these tools every time they update they get easier to use and more powerful so that's just a, a, a little bit of a tour for using pop-ups and images in those pop-ups in a variety of ways but starting with the photos as geotagged a geotagged folder inside here there's lots of applications in education and research and beyond education as well. Go out there and do some field work of your own. Take your own photos and get out there and explore and examine our world. Thanks.